Hi, in this video, you're going to learn 10 cool Canva text effects that you can apply to any of your Canva designs. Just check out all these text effects that you'll learn in this step-by-step -step video tutorial. We've got the framed text effect, we've got the highlight effect, the 3D shadow drop shadow effect, the slanted effect, the glitch effect that looks like uh, the TikTok logo. Also got the curved text effect, hollow outline, solid outline, perfect aligned text effect, and the spaced out text effect. So if you want to learn these 10 cool Canva text effects, then keep on watching. Hi, my name's Aurelius. I'm a Canva certified creative. And on this channel, I make videos on how to scale your business with online tech. And sometimes I like to create videos and tutorials around Canva, designing and creating your own digital products. So if any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe below, turn on notifications too, so you don't miss a thing. The first text effect that you're going to learn is the framed text effect. And as you notice here, we've got images or photos on the actual letters. So this is a cool little effect that you can apply if you wanna be a little bit more uh, artistic and creative. But in order to do this and achieve this, the way to do it is to use Canva's elements and by going to frames. So what we're going to do is just go to elements, frames, see all, and from the bottom, you'll see the alphabets. So scroll down all the way to the bottom. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate how to do this and how to actually use it is I'm going to create a new page. So add page here. I'm gonna start with the blank canvas here. Now, what you're going to have to do first is to figure out what words you want for your framed text. So let's put in hello again. So the trick here and the kind of little hack that you want to apply here is to make sure that you click on each letter that you want for the actual word first before you actually arrange it and resize it. So let me show you how to do it. I'm gonna put in all the letters, H, E, double L, and O. Now, don't worry too much at this point because we're going to fix it all. So once you have all the letters in place, you'll see this bunch right here. All you need to do is just highlight everything and resize it down because obviously it's not going to fit in this particular canvas, but depends on how large your canvas is, but I'm just going to make it this size. So that way we're making the sizes of all the letters all consistent. So now with that in place, what we're going to do is just arrange it. So we've got the O, we've got the H, oh, sorry, the L and another L. So I'll just move it across a bit more. And behind that, now you can see there's the E. Now, it doesn't matter where it goes for now, we're just going to arrange it and fix that up right now. Now, the way to make sure that you have everything aligned is to make sure you go to view, then to show guides, make sure that's checked. So then you're given these purple guides as you'll see, that way everything is aligned. An easier way to space out your letters more evenly and more accurately is by highlighting all the letters and then under position, go to space evenly, then horizontally. And that will space out all your letters, all elements evenly. All right, so I've arranged the letters. Now I'm just going to align it to the center of this canvas like so. And the next step is to have your photos prepared. So I'll go into photos, choose any photo. So let's say you want some random photos in each of these letters. I'm going to just search for landscapes or landscape. And then let's start with this one here. Just drag and drop it to the letter where you want that image on and applied on. And let's move to the next, then the next, and we repeat it for the rest of the letters. All right, like so. Now you can arrange it, just click it once, uh, double click that is, and then you can arrange it where you want. So you can see, let's say you want this mountain instead of the actual uh, other side here. So next step is here, we've got the flowers, just arrange it right here. And this one here, we want the tree a little bit more uh, appears on the actual letter next here and like so. So once you're happy with that, then you can <laughs> save it. But let's say you also just want to apply one image. There's a little trick to this. I'm just gonna undo everything. Uh, let's say this one here, you're gonna kind of have to hack with this and all you need to do is just drag that photo that you want. So once you, you're there, you just wanna start from the beginning right there and then you apply it again, all right? 
and this time we want to make sure that it kind of arranges uh, after the uh, where it continues off so like so and you just repeat the same for the rest whoops let's drag and drop it again and you can see it based on here now it may not fit and in that case you'll need to basically expand it and max uh, increase the size of the image but you get the idea of what i'm doing here okay text effect number two is the highlight effect now this is something that's a little bit more trendy these days and you'll see this on web pages and if not sometimes on instagram posts and all things like that but in order to achieve this look we simply are going to add a line and we are improvising the line by using a square so let's start with that i'm going to now create a new page the first thing you want to do is to add the text so i'm just going to add some text here so i'm just going to use this same one and copy I'm just copy and pasting with my keyboard so let's say i've already added it right there and once you've added yours the next step is to add an element so we go into elements uh, let's go back to the top and now we're going to just close the frames and select on the shapes we're going to select the square uh, shape here now from here we just drag the actual image here or the shape that is and we just resize it to the kind of thickness and width that we want so let's say you're happy with that you can then change the color make sure you've selected it and then from the top left here we're going to select the actual color with, that we want purple or yellow like the one i did and you can arrange this the way you want so let's say you want this a bit more to the uh, actual center so i'm going to just drag it up somewhere here and that's kind of the look that you may want if you like a thinner highlight just decrease the actual height and then rearrange it where you want like that and that's it Okay, Canva text effect number three is the drop shadow effect or kind of like a 3D effect. And as you'll see here, we've got the 3D effect that makes it look like it's pop, popping out of the screen. And in order to achieve this particular effect, what we're going to do is I'm just going to add a new page first. And let's say we're going to add some text. So I'm going to go under text, add a new heading. And now I'm just going to put any text here 3d effect and then what we're going to do now is just increase the size let's just stick with this font style all right the next step then is to change the color so change it to whatever color you want uh, since this is on a black background we're going to choose something that's the same like this so it has a higher contrast the next step is to go to effects once you've selected the actual text there click on effects then you'll see shadow so that's the effect that you want and you'll see other text effects right here which are pretty much click and apply so once i click on effect or the shadow that is it'll apply the actual shadow effect and from here i can then fine tune the offset you know how far i want that shadow and the direction so let's say you know around here or the other way wherever you want so let's say somewhere down here which is where i had it and then we can also blur it as well so it looks a bit more uh, it doesn't look as sharp we can change the transparency too which you probably don't want to do too much and then from here what you can also do is change the color of the actual uh, shadow so by default it's selecting this blue color that i selected but we're going to select uh, let's say white okay and that changes it and you can see that it's more gray in this case so that's the drop shadow or 3d effect moving on text effect number four is the slanted effect in order to achieve this very simple i'm going to take this demo or this text again as an example and once you've added your text all you need to do is just select it once and then from here you'll see the rotate icon here and then that's where we can just uh, use our mouse to see how many degrees we want so let's say around there and that's all there is to it to the slanted effect text effect number five is the kind of tiktok or glitch effect 
So once you've added your text, all you need to do is just click it once, go to effects again, and with one click, click on glitch, and that applies that glitch effect. And then you can also fine tune that glitch effect too with the offset, how far you want it, and the actual direction and the colors too. Just bear in mind that this effect may not work or these colors in particular may not work great. It won't stand out great with a black or dark background as you'll see. So do keep that in mind, but it's great that you can actually change the colors of the glitch effect. So there you go, that's the glitch effect, nice and simple. Text effect number six is the curved text effect, which is another simple and easy to apply text effect that was recently introduced by Canva. So once you've entered your text, all you need to do is just click it once again, go to effects and then to the curved text effect. And then you can adjust how much of a curve you want. You can have it all the way around like that, or you can have it just slightly curved like so. So that's the curved text effect in a nutshell. Another nice and simple text effect is the hollow outline text effect. All you need to do once you have your text entered is again, click on effects, then to the hollow text effect. You can adjust the thickness of the outline. So you can see as I increase the size of the thickness, it increases and makes it look more bold or you can have it just slightly outlined. Another nice and simple one right there. For this next text effect, what you're going to do is utilize what you used previously with the outline, but instead what you can do is actually use a specific color that you like, which is why I call it the solid outline text effect. In order to achieve this, you're going to create two text layers. So as you'll see, if I just ungroup this first, so one's the actual outline and the other one is just the plain text, but with the color of your choice. What you do first is enter your text as you would normally enter it. And as you'll see here, I've got my color set to yellow. You can set it to whatever, just select, then click on the A option, then choosing whatever color you want. So let's say you've already done it. The next step is to actually duplicate it. So in order to duplicate, you can click it once. And from here, from the top, click on duplicate. Now you've made a copy, the next step is just to align it and you can do the aligning afterwards actually and click on effects and then click on the hollow text effect. Now you may not see the outline, but what you can do is go to the top and then change the color to whatever you color you want for the outline. So let's say black and there we go. What's important to note is to make sure that the outline or the text layer that has the outline is in front of the solid text. If it's actually behind, you'll see if I go position backward, you won't actually see all of the outline. So in order to make sure that it's in front, make sure to select it, go to position and click on forward. Since my hollow text effect is actually in front already, that's the text effect that we wanna achieve. All right, the next text effect is actually one of my favorites and this is a way to basically box your text so that it's all aligned and this is called perfect aligned text effect. I did suggest to Canva to have this text effect in the effects options here, but let's see how we go in the future, but I hope that they will add this great addition to their text effects here. How you can achieve this is basically to create a new text layer for every single line that you want. So as you can see, these are separate text layers. There's three text layers here. To get started, click on add a heading under text. And then what we're going to do is just add our text as normally. I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see. And I'll use this font and I'll stick with this. What I'm going to do to speed up time is just to copy and paste on my keyboard, which is Command C or on your Windows, it's Control C. So now I've got that, that I've, I can then enter the next layer of text. Now don't worry too much about the alignment and making sure it's boxed. That's what we're going to do later on. Right now, what you're going to do is just add all the text that you want. Again, I'm going to copy and paste and add the next layer. All right, so here's where the magic happens. What you're going to first do is to go to view. Make sure you have show rulers here checked because what you're going to do now is from the ruler, you'll see here once you uh, do enable rulers, you've got the left and the top ruler. So from the left, what we're going to do is just drag, let's say somewhere here, 
and then drag again with your mouse somewhere here. So then we're going to use this to align all our texts and we can kind of fine tune everything. Starting with the first word or the first row of words, we're going to just align it. And what I'm going to do so that you can see a lot clearer is to increase the size. So let's zoom in 100%. Or well, actually that's too big. Let's go 75%. Okay, with that in place, what I can do now is just resize it so that it meets the other side like so. And we're going to just align it so you can see left and right quite aligned. You repeat the same steps for the next row of uh, text. So again, I'm just going to resize it. And for the last row, again, resize it. What we can do now is just arrange it and see how much spacing we want. That looks pretty good there. I'm gonna now zoom out so you can see the full picture. To remove the rulers, what we're going to do is just remove it and drag it out of the way. And just like that, you've got your boxed or perfectly aligned text. What I like about using this text effect is that it's so useful when it comes to doing YouTube thumbnails. So for example, I've got this canvas for a YouTube thumbnail. Uh, optimize for a YouTube thumbnail of the size. Why, what I can do then is just copy the text that I just created. And then I'm just gonna go to this canvas now, paste it in, align it where I want. And then the next step is what we can do is add our own uh, image. So I've got this one prepared with me. I've got the background already removed using Canva's uh, background remover. And if you do wanna learn more about these Canva tips, uh, be sure to look up in the card where I've got another video called uh, 20 Canva tips and tricks. But what you can do now is just resize it to the way you want. So let's say there, and then making sure we have everything aligned uh, like so. And what I'm gonna do is just decrease it a bit more. And just like that, we've got our YouTube thumbnail. So that's one great way of using the perfectly aligned text effect. This next text effect is the spaced out or minimalist kind of uh, text effect that you can apply to your designs. So let's first start by creating a new page or canvas here. And then I'm going to add a new heading. Enter the text that you want. So let's say minimalist, all right. And then I'm just going to first increase the size to what I want and then arranging it to the center. Now, if you don't see these purple guides, by the way, you can go to view, then go to show guides. The next step is to add the letter spacing. So click on the text once, click on the spacing icon here, then where it says letter, we can then increase the letter spacing like so depending how much you want. So that looks pretty cool there, and I'm happy with that. So that's the spaced out text effect right there. So there you have it, 10 Canva text effects that you can apply to your designs, making it more trendy, more creative, and more artistic. If you enjoyed and got value from this video, by all means hit that like button, and if you're new, subscribe below, turn on notifications too, so you don't miss out on any tutorials around Canva, digital business, and creating digital products. In the meantime, if you wanna learn 20 Canva tips and tricks, be sure to watch this video right here.